Afternoon cactus people. Uh, yesterday we had our um, monthly meeting of the British Cactus and Succulent Society. Our local group down at Dover all met up. And uh, these are the plants I brought back. Um, first off, we have a look at these little aeoniums which uh, my friend Roz bought me. Very kindly bought them in for me. She's uh, grown them herself I think. Uh, this one was an aeonium Schwarzkopf. Lovely little plant, and the one at the back here, Aeonium Vella, which is a similar plant but green in the middle of the rosette. And it's got a little pup on the side there, which is brilliant. And I believe she thinks this one is a Schwarzkopf as well, uh, but it's got a little bit of green in the middle, so um, we'll keep an eye on that one, see what it is. But uh, Thank you very much for those, Ros. I shall be putting them up and looking after them. I haven't got any. Um, dark coloured ones, all, my other ones are all green, which uh, will make an interesting uh, addition to the collection. Um, we also had um, a nice lecture from uh, Suzanne, who's a lady that grows a lot of mesembryantheums, and she brought along a few plants for sale. These obviously aren't, these are uh, a couple of um, tephracactus type things. <laughs> We've got one uh, Tephracactus sphericus, which um, I already had, but mine's tiny compared to this. This is um, much, much bigger. So uh, when I first saw it, I thought it was a geometricus. But, uh, lovely plant there. And this one, again, much bigger than the one I've got, uh, Coronapuntia moellari. Uh, absolutely huge compared to mine, which is fantastic. I, uh, I couldn't resist them. And also picked up a couple of um, oh, light ups. I forgot the name for a minute there. Uh, little living stones. I've managed to kill all but one of mine. And uh, this one is um, light ups one tazy eye. Number on it 3626. And this one El Gessinia Hanal. I can't even say that. Hano Wared. 3589, which I'm sure makes sense to people that are into lithops. I don't know if those are field collection numbers or um, whether they're just um, varieties. I'm not really not sure. But uh, I'll try not to kill these. Um, Suzanne gave a, a good indication at, at the lecture of what I'm doing wrong watering wise and uh, depth of pot and all that sort of stuff. So I'll be putting those into a, a much deeper pot than I have my own uh, lithops in. I look forward to seeing what they do. And over here, hope you're watching this, Anders. This must be the biggest plant I've ever won at the raffle. And uh, it's, um, get me, try and pronounce it right, Ladyboria, or Lediboria socialis, which is a, a type of squill. If you uh, look in here, you can see the bulb like base on them. There's a lot of them here. They look like they should be more succulent, but they feel quite papery, which uh, is interesting. Now, I've not seen these flower. I assume they do flower. Uh, pretty interesting to see. And it's such a, a wonderful clump there. It's um, probably tempting to keep them all like that rather than split them up. Although uh, there's lots and lots of plants there. So uh, I'll leave it like that for now. Because... Uh, Really not sure what to do with it, how to treat it yet, so I'll have to look that up and see what I'm meant to do with it. But uh, very pleased with this uh, collection of plants. I should be doing different things with each one of them. And thank you very much for having a look today. <laughs> 